In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to build your own website with beacons.ai. Beacons.ai is a free tool that you can use as a link in bio tool. You can also sell products on it. You can add affiliate marketing offers. You can send emails, create media kits, and build your own website. It does so much, and you have the option to build a website for free or use one of their paid plans for some extra benefits. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you step-by-step, -step, and when you log into your Beacons AI account, you'll come up to have this screen that kind of shows you some of your options. So you can click build your website here or in the left-hand menu, go over to website and click on that. You will see that nothing is set up yet if you haven't set up a website. So you can click new website button in the top and it will bring you up to the website templates that Beacons.ai offers. You do have the option to start from scratch if you wanna do that. It will save you a lot of time, however, to use one of the templates that they have already created and offer you. So I would highly recommend you kind of look through the options, see what kind of business you have and select a template that is right for you. I'm gonna select this entertainment and media site because I do have a YouTube channel, obviously. So we're gonna just use this as our template. So we clicked preview template and it just brings up a larger size of the option. And so you can kind of see what it will look like. If you don't like that, you can always click the back arrow in the top and it will take you back to the template. So here we can see the other options and we see that they have a storefront option. So if you're gonna sell products, that might be great. Click preview template, look through that. If you like how it looks, let's go ahead and use this one. So to select a template, you click use template button. Once you've selected your website template, it will show up like like this, you'll have the full screen of the website, which is great. So now you basically have the option to design the website and add sections, change all of the information and make it your own. So to start, you can basically click on any element on the website template. You'll see over on the right hand side, a little pop-up comes up and this gives you the option to change all of the information on the site. So to change things, you'll just select the text, for example. So maybe we just want to add our name here. So create with pennies is my channel. So let's make the website based on my channel. You can also change the heading size so you can make it smaller or larger, kind of play around with all of the options here. You can totally do everything you want by just selecting and changing things. You can change where the URL goes to and you have a lot of options here. You can also select layout the second option in the top menu here and change what it looks like. So you can change this whole slider and you can make it look like this. You can remove the image. If you do wanna have an image on the right, you could do that. There's a lot of different options for how you want it to look. So you can play around with what looks best in your opinion. I don't really like that secondary photo. So I'm gonna actually just go with this one. So it kind of shows off the product and then my name and then the shop now button. So when you're happy with that, you just X out of the menu and then you continue on with editing all of the other elements on the page. So here you would select it and then you can change what these are. So you would select edit column one, which this is the column. And then you can see all of the words here. So you could remove words. You can change the words out if it says it multiple times. Obviously this is an example. So you would want to change this until it's what you like. And then you can also create links to these. So highlight it and then click the little link button and then enter your URL. So you have the option to enter it here, then click confirm. It will create a link that then the user can go to the page that you want them to go to. So that's fantastic if you want to do that. So click out of that. And then down here is the storefront area. So this is where you have products. And if you are selling digital products or anything like that and you want a website to show these off, I highly recommend using a template like this. To edit this section, you would click on it and again, change all of the headings. So you would remove the text there and then add your text as you want. So maybe you wanna show off new products, make that larger. And then you actually go to down here for the products, you select your products. I've already added a product on my beacons.ai account. So I'm gonna select that and click add product. So you select it and then add product. To add more products here, you have to add them in the beacons.ai backend. So definitely watch my video on that and you can just click add product and then you would be able to select it and then add it. 
it won't let you add it again. So you obviously have to add those in the back end to have all three if you want to show off three. So that's how you add products. If you want to remove a section, say you have the template and you don't like having that many sections, you basically go to the section you want to remove, click on it. And then over here on the right hand side, it will say the section name at the top. So this is a store section and then it has a little trash icon. Click that little trash icon to delete it. It will have a pop-up that says this action can't be undone. So make sure that you want to delete it before you do so. Then click the red delete button and it's gone. So that makes it super easy to customize the template. So if you don't like certain sections, maybe you don't want to have two different product sections. Maybe you don't want this call out. You can always delete it and that makes your page look how you want to. The great thing is with the template builder in beacons.ai, you can also add those sections back. So to do so, you scroll to the top where it says plus section, click on that, and then you can add all of these different options. So the content options are basically what was already on the template and you can add those here. So you can add a hero call out, which is in the top where you have a big photo and it's a prominent headline and a call to action like shop now, something like that. Or you can add content. You also have the option to add images, Instagram feed, YouTube videos. You can add more store sections. We did delete one of those. We could add one back. You can have your newsletter for email collection. And then they have a couple other integrations. Since since we removed a store section, let's add one back. So to do so, you just click the little plus sign on the right of the store section and you can see it adds it here. So the layout and design is a little bit different than the one we deleted, but we can change that as well. So here it has two products and we can go ahead and select products like we did before by clicking the product, add products. So you can add it like that, wonderful. And if you do wanna change the layout, you would click on layout and then here's where you can select one product. So this could be one product that you're selling that you're featuring. You could do the two, you could do the three, you could do four. So there are a lot of layout options that you can adjust to make it look perfect for what you want. And then of course the design, you can also change the design because every section in a template is going to have these custom palettes to make it look a little bit different. So if you wanted this one to match the other one up higher, you could select custom palette B or whichever one makes sense for your design. This allows you to really customize the template and make it look like your own website, which is super, super nice. You also can edit the palette colors in the design tab of the template. So basically, if you decide mm, these colors really don't work for my branding, you can go up here to design, click on design, and then click on colors, and you can create your own brand kit, your own custom colors, and that will change the entire website. So you can select one of the options that they have up here. So maybe you like the classic contrast. So now your whole site is in that color. Or if you have custom colors, you can select the color, just select the little circle over here, and then you can enter your colors down here. So let's select one that's kind of close to mine. My branding is this. So maybe I want my branding to match my YouTube channel for my website. So I make it look like this. Or maybe I am designing a new brand and I want it to look very different. So I've selected something like this with the pink. Either way, once you have the color palette you like, you can just play around with it and then save that color palette by clicking save color palette. You give it a name and then click save. That's a really exciting way to change things up. You can also adjust the typography in the design. So if you go to typography, you can change what your headings look like. So if you don't like what the template has already, you can go ahead and change that. You can play around with what they look like. You can kind of go through and find the right one for your style and your branding. If you have something you use all the time, like I use this one all the time and most of my content. So maybe I'm going to change it to that and then change my font underneath to something else. Or if I like something super basic, it really is just up to you. And then once you have that set, you can move on to other options. It also gives you options to play with the button. So if you like the buttons to be a little bit different than what they have, you can play around with that. You can make them bigger, all of those things. So there is a lot you can do with the design section. And then of course that will affect every single section you add to the template to change up your website. And just remember that this is something that is going to be based on the template you chose, but you can always delete sections and then edit them and add them as well. Every single section 
section, when you click on it, it's going to have an option with the layouts to make it larger, to make it two, to make it three, to change up how it looks. Every time you add a section, you will click on it and then you will go over to the right side where it says what the section is. You will edit the content. You will make the changes that you want. You will make sure that you like how it is looking with the content and then you will change up whatever you need to in that section. You will also want to go to layout and make sure that you look at all the layout options. Maybe you want things to look differently and this is where you will do it in each section. And of course the design is where you will select which color palette you are liking based on the colors that you've selected for your overall design. And then once you're happy with that, you will be done with the section. I'm gonna go ahead and change that one back because I do like the four videos over the larger ones. So personally, that's how I like that. So I'm not gonna go through the entire website here, but you understand how to do it now. So the final step is to actually preview your website, see what it looks like, see if you like it, if you need to change things up. So you see, oh, I only have one product, I need to change that. So you go back and you edit that and make sure that you have things how you want it to look. So click on that section, you go over to layout and you want only one product there. So it looks a lot better. Maybe you want the design to be different, you want the background to be the lighter one. So you make those changes. And then when you're done, you preview it again, you make sure you're happy with how it looks. Okay, you're like, oh, that's great. I love it, I love my new website. The final step is to publish. So click publish and then your website's live. It's very fast actually. So you can click view website to go over and view your website in a new tab, make sure it's how you like it. Of course, if you don't like things or if it's you see a typo or it's not finished, you go back and you edit that and then you publish again. The great thing with beacons.ai is that you can also customize the link. So if you want to have a custom domain, you can do that. Click on customize link. So your options here are to connect a domain you own already or claim a custom domain through beacons.ai by upgrading to a creator plan or more. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's look at how to claim your own free custom domain. You click on that and then you would basically type in the domain that you want. So whatever it is, you would type it in. Let's type that in and search. Click the little search arrow and that one's not available. Mm, unfortunate. So we are going to try something else. So we're going to try something else. We'll type it in. We'll click the search button, see if it's available and then choose the option out of the suggestions that we like the most or choose the one that we've typed in if that matches. And then we're going to click claim that domain. So here what happens is it will bring you up to a beacons.ai page where you're going to select a creator pro plan. With a creator pro plan, you're paying $10 per month, but you get a lot of options. You get a free custom domain. So basically that domain that you've chosen is included and you don't have to pay for that first year. There's no domain fees, which is really nice. And even when you are paying those, it's still only $10 per month to host your website, which is much cheaper than a lot of options out there. So you also get access to buy now, pay later, 0% invoice fees. If you send invoices to customers or clients, very helpful. You get email automations, 500 emails per month. You get a lot of different options with a $10 per month plan. I honestly wouldn't go over this plan because I feel like it includes almost everything you need. And a lot of you guys watching are probably on the creator side. So you're going to need something like this. And it's really affordable at $10 per month. And you can see down here, the custom domain that you're registering, it's $0 for that first year and only $13 per year after that, which again, isn't very expensive and is very reasonable to have it all together. So to pay for this, you go down to enter your payment details, you enter it all in and then you pay $10. So you click pay $10 and then your domain is ready to go. If you get through this process and you decide, no, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready to upgrade to a plan. You can always click go back and that will bring you back to where you were. And you can start with a website.beacons.ai site. So the URL is not terrible. You can always copy and paste that. A lot of people use beacons.ai anyway for their link and bio tools. So having your website on this is not the worst in the world, but it's also not the best for branding. So I would highly recommend you do bring over a domain or get a custom one through beacons.ai. But until you're ready, you can always use this. I hope this was helpful and showed you how to create a website with beacons.ai, how to customize a few things with the template and how to get your own custom domain. If you are ready to get started, I have a link to beacons.ai in the description box. You can hop over there and get started. And when you're ready to get started, definitely check out the link in the description box and watch my video on how to get started with beacons.ai.